This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Witset. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A woman drove herself to the hospital after police said she was shot in the foot in Avondale. Police were called out to the area of Alameda Place at Ridgeway around 11 this morning. Officers said they found multiple shell casings in the street. They are still working to find a suspect. That shooting happened just around the corner from the scene of a triple shooting last night. That happened just before 11 p.m. near the intersection of Redding Road and Carplin Place, a few blocks away from UC Medical Center. Investigators said three people were shot during a robbery and that all three victims are expected to be okay. Police have not made any arrests in this case either. A Warren County judge officially sealed Brooke Schuyler Richardson's conviction for abusing her baby's corpse. A jury convicted her of gross abuse of a corpse for burying her newborn girl in her parents' backyard in 2017. She told police that baby had been stillborn. According to our partners at the Journal News, the judge granted her request yesterday. That case no longer appears on the Warren County Clerk of Courts website. Cincinnati Bengals QB Joe Burrow has launched a new nonprofit foundation with his parents, Robin and Jimmy. The Joe Burrow Foundation provides resources to underserved families here in Ohio as well as in Louisiana. They're trying to address food insecurity and childhood mental health. Joe will serve as president of the foundation's executive board. Brandon. It's been a beautiful day out there today, continuing into the evening as well. 70 degrees, low humidity, calm winds, a fantastic day across the tri-state. And as we move on into tonight, it's going to stay nice and quiet as well. But the calm wind does allow for some areas of patchy fog to develop. It's very similar to what we had out there for the start of your Tuesday. 73 for Wednesday, beautiful, sunny, slightly warmer, wind relatively calm once again. And then it turns to the south in the Thursday. Thursday, 76, Friday. Friday, a big drop in temperatures with a cold front Thursday night into Friday, and you can expect the potential of frost as we start the weekend with temps into the 30s.